Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second class that we have planned for today. Uh, it's Friday, May 15th. And today I have prepared to something quite interesting for you in history. Yes, today we have a very interesting history class. The class is actually going to be divided into two parts. So you're going to see um, the first half today, Friday, and the second half next Friday. Okay, now next week there's something special going on. I'll tell you about it on Monday, all right? But for now, we're going to focus on history. Now, what do we need for our class today just to pay attention, to smile? to open up our brains, to absorb all this information that we're going to receive today. It's not a lot because I have divided into parts that you can digest or process in smaller bits, okay? So, I took the liberty, of course, of scanning the piece of the paper that we're going to do today. And it looks like this. This is the page of our book. It's this is the whole page, okay? All right, it's only one page. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see uh, the title. The title is Caliva Atrobatum, okay? Now, this mm, words are maybe a little weird. I, I, I won't tell you that they're not um, because they're from the Latin, okay? And I'm not going to focus too much on the name, okay? I am going to tell you what timeline we are on. So, we look over here at this rectangle, we have a timeline, all right? Where I could see um, the green part where we are right now. So we are in about, I would say, 50 BC um, until AD, what seems to be 30 or 40, I think, okay? This is approximate, of course. And we have in this timeline these very important points, such as Comius betrayed right here at the beginning, and then Comius becomes king of the Atrobets, and after that, Verica becomes king of the Atrobets. So we have this Atrobatum situation right now, and let's see what exactly we're talking about. Okay? It's very important that we know what time we're on. Because this was such a long time ago. I can't tell you how long ago it was. Because, I mean, your parents weren't alive. I wasn't alive. Your grandparents weren't either. This is like at the beginning of time, okay? So, Caliba Atrobatum, which is now called Silchester, is a good example of an opidium. Now, you remember what an opidium was? Well, for that, I want to show you something a lot more interesting. All right. So this is um, the Earth as we know it, okay? Now, when I zoom into Earth, I can show you that we are here. This is Latin America. We are around here. Santiago is around here. If I zoom in a little bit, I'm going to see Chile. And if I zoom in, we're going to see Santiago de Chile is where we're from, okay, where we are right now, honestly, but whatever. And I'm going to zoom out because we're going to go to another side of the world. Okay, I'm going to twist the world to the right as if I'm handing a globe. This would be the continent of Africa, and I'm going to go northern of that because I need to be in Europe. Why do I need to be in Europe? Well, because the Caliba Atrobatum is actually in the United Kingdom. We have been studying um, history of Britain, okay? And if I zoom in on that, this map is going to do something really cool. I'm going to click here, and it's going to go and zoom in on that. All right? So if I look at the map, it's down here at the south. Okay? This is the English Channel. Remember where um, Julius Caesar came to invade England through the English Channel, and he failed, and then... They backed out, but this is a different time, a different era. So I'm going to go in, and the Caliva Atrobatan, right now, it's called Caliva Atrobatan Amphitheater. Why? Because this doesn't exist right now. This was a very long time ago, but I'm zooming in on my map so that you can see what's left of this. 
this is what's here right now, which is like a memorial or a memory of what was happening. Okay? For me to tell you what an opium is, I need to show you something else. Now, an opium is something like this. This was Kaliva Atrobatum, the way that they knew it at that time. All right? We're talking about how people stopped being nomads going from one place uh, to another. They used to go and just keep walking and find food where they went and keep their animals with them. It was very tiring. It wasn't very good for humanity. So then they decided to settle. And when they decided to settle, they started to get together and form these villages. And very, very small then the villages started to grow, okay, and started to be planned out, had to have some kind of road, some kind of um, architecture, such as, like, at the beginning, they made these very temporary tents made out of, of, of dirt and, and, and straw. It would easily get destroyed, but they would put um, leather over it, animal leather, and uh, then they started to, become, to, to create these structures made of mud, sort of like the cement that we use today, it was more permanent, okay? They started using rocks in their construction and started to develop a little bit more. So it looks like this, okay? So this is what it looked like at that time when it was in full development. Now, we don't really have pictures. This is all conjecture. What does that mean? That this is the idea that we have of the information that we have received from archaeologists who are the people who study um, other ancient peoples in their territory so they study all the elements that you can find to go back in time and see what it was like so it's all uh, it's an addition of data and facts and the things that we saw the things that these archaeologists found and also a little bit of imagination because this image is not real okay this is a recreation of what we think it looked like so from the information that we have, this is what we know. And right now, today would be sort of empty. This is like a view from, again, from Google Earth of what this territory looks like today. So it really doesn't look exactly like we had it in the past, okay? I'm going to go back into the book, okay? So archaeologists found something very interesting. They found tiny drops of gold in the soil around Khaliva. Now, this picture shows... One of them looked like under a microscope. This is a microscopic piece of gold. It's actually about the same size as the width of one of your hairs. Take one tiny hair of yours, and that's how small that particle of gold was in the soil. Now, what do you think this could tell us about Kaliva? We know that it was something like this. Uh, you can see how the opium is a, a territory that was made to be on higher ground so you could either make a hole like you'd see here on this image and there's the wall do you see this wall it's like a boundary a limit that would say okay this is Kaliwa Atrabatum and it's surrounded by a wall it has the entrance right here do you see it it probably has other entrances on other parts so that you could control who goes in and who goes out and it would, if you find gold, then you could probably use this gold to make other materials or use it for trading that we talked about in our last class. We traded objects that you need for objects that you wanted and so on and forth, okay? So back to where this map is, this is what it looks like today, okay? And if I click on these images, I can see what is left of this today. So, for example, these are real images taken by real people who go and visit these places. So, for example, this you can see it's on higher ground, and this is what's left of that wall that was once there. Okay? You can see here, for example, there's a person with their dog, looks like a, a child, and there's a wall, really big wall. This could have been one of the entrances. Okay, this is what we have today, a church, a cemetery, what was left of the wall. Now it's all very different. You can see how it looks like today. Some remainders of the wall can be found around different areas. And, of course, people take pictures because, oh, look at these cows, because that's how we remember what it looks like.
Okay, this is what it looks like today. All right, very different from what we saw or what we think it looked like, which was like this. Okay, now this is the aerial view. And like I showed you, this is a very famous, it's a memorial today. So when you go visit, there's information where you can read what was here, what they found, what the archaeologists found. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the reading and let's take a closer look. A look at this picture showing what Kavila Atrabatan actually might have looked like. And, well, we see these more permanent houses. They're all made of straw. They're, they have, there's some wood. Sorry. Um, there are some animals. And you can see that there are roads where people can actually communicate. So the houses are sort of close together, and they're separated close together, and then separated by areas or blocks, which indicates some sort of planning. Like um, here, for example, is, what do you call this? What do you think they're getting from here? These little cubes are getting water. That's right, they're getting water. And over here, they're transporting more hay to put on the top of their houses that they're building with straw. Okay, very good. Okay, so Kalila was built on a grid pattern, like a Roman town. So this would be the influence of the Romans that actually went there and stayed. They told them about how things were in Rome. And this grid pattern stayed here in Kaliva at Trabatum. It was one of the first places built like this in Britain. So that meant that there was a different view. Okay. It also had a stone wall surrounding it, what I just showed you. And archaeologists think that gold was worked in Kaliva. The things made here would have probably been traded with the Romans and other people in Britain. So you take this big town. Well, that's not really big, big, but it's big enough okay now today we know this is called silchester and we already showed you on the real map but around here you have a main building another a smaller building and this is what it would look like when it was really developed okay so this was at the beginning of time made more of wood the other one was more of concrete okay and so far this is what i want you to understand so this is a history lesson where we're introducing this topic, and I just want you to get a clear idea of what this is. Now, the activities will be done next week, okay? I'll tell you about that uh, on Monday, most likely, okay? So, I hope this is clear and understood. If you have any questions, don't worry. I'm going to make a summary of this so we can check it again. If you forget any information, if you have any questions, just tell me, okay? Just tell me. I'm all available for questions. And you're good to go. You have a math video um, after this. And it's going to be really fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay? So, bye-bye, kids.